the PBMW Championship caters for cars, uh, BMW Model E 30s, which were made between 83 and 1990. So they're getting pretty long in the tooth now, but it's its, it's 12th season, it's been very successful. It started with people really buying cars on eBay and then putting uh, uh, cages and going racing. Uh, and it's evolved, the cars now are, are proper classic cars, they're really well uh, prepared and maintained. The racing is extremely close, uh, the engines are limited to power, so the cars can be pretty much identical and so very much a driver's championship. It's, it's really budget level racing, you can't race much more cheaply than you can with us. The cars, uh, even the ones that have won the championship in the last few years, chain hands at about five, six thousand pounds, sometimes less. Uh, the running costs are around three thousand pounds for entries. On top of that, probably two sets of tyres, um, some consumables, petrol, whatever. Um, so it is very affordable. We try and keep the regulations stable, made very, very minor technical changes this year, nothing that really impacts people, uh, just sensible things that keep costs down. Uh, what I'm most excited about, I think the fact that we know this year we're going to have at least 35 car grids all through the season and possibly more. Last year when we were thinking the cars were becoming so valuable they wouldn't want to be raced anymore, uh, we looked at uh, what we do in the future because these cars won't last forever. So we've gone for a diesel, 120 diesel. These will be even more strictly controlled but with control parts but they will be very powerful. Uh, so it'll be a jump of about uh, probably 100 horsepower over the E30s uh, and a lot more torque. So they'll be a lot of fun to drive, they're cheap to buy and in fact uh, the first one we, as a test model is out here today and that was built for a little over £10,000 on the track. We're excited about that because I don't think there are any other diesel championships running in Europe so ours will be the first so that would be really nice. In 2015 our champion Gary Feekins uh, use the success of that championship to actually elevate his own career and he'll be racing in British GT this year. So it, it, not only are we a cost-effective championship but it has the eyes of people uh, further up uh, the financial grid uh, look at our drivers, spot the book one and then take their career further. So that, that was a really exciting part about 2015. 2016, who knows going to win but they have the same opportunity.